Don't forget to breathe and hold that belly in. We're going to release that and come over to the other side. Right arm to left knee, left hand behind you, gazing in over the left shoulder. Slightly tuck the chin. That might help this twist action happen. It might take a little bit of the neck pressure off with a slight tuck. From here, we're gonna come back to center. Take that right arm, internally rotate the right shoulder. Take the right hand around and behind you. Maybe it can clasp the inner thigh of the left. Maybe it just hangs out behind you. Either way is fine. Then we're going to try to bring the left ear to the left shoulder. If you want, you can use your hand. I don't find that I need that much additional oomph. We're going to work on stretching that sternoclomastis. I can't pronounce it. That's that big muscle right here. And this also stretches your upper trapezius. Helping to get the ear away from the shoulder. Again, I find that a slight tuck in the chin versus letting the chin out is a little more hmm, compassionate, if you will, to the neck. Oh, I just got a pop. That was lovely. Releasing this. And let's do that on the other side. We'll internally rotate that left shoulder because that helps to get the, the upper trap in the right place for a good stretch. If you, you just kind of go out and set it back, it does, you know, it might not get as much of a good stretch. And again, your right ear is going towards your right shoulder. You can use your right hand on the outside of your left part of your head, or you can kind of encourage that shoulder down. I forgot to cue that. You guys, I have two heaters surrounding me. And I'm still cold. All and we'll right. be cranking up the fans. <laughs> I know, right? Inhale, coming up. Now we're going to roll over to our hands and knees. Hey, Judson. <laughs> Move through a couple of rounds of cat cow. Just warming up our bodies here. About $100 billion for hospitals. And testing, so that, that's what I'm hearing as well. Uh, I've heard it hey, Judson, mute yourself. He has a Wednesday. <laughs> I'm glad that, yeah, there we go. Thanks, babe. He's making sure he could hear us, I guess. <laughs> All right, from here, we're going to take that right foot out and behind us. Lift it up, little bit of spinal balance challenge. Check in with your hips, make sure that they're square. Lift that left arm up maybe. If you've got some upper back shoulder issues, maybe you take the left arm around and behind and just hold it back. Belly stays in. And now what we're going to do is take that right knee behind the left knee, sitting back here, getting a nice stretch along the right side of your butt cheek. And then walk your hands over further towards the left if you want to intensify the stretch along the right side body. Can you guys hear me okay? Hopefully that's a yes. Yes. Good. All right. Unwinding yourself here. Yeah, the audio is great. Perfect. I'm figuring out the mics a little bit. Take that left foot back. Right hand checks in with the hips. What you don't want to have is this like cheerleader booty, belly, cow belly in. We want to have everything in neutral position. Your right hand can extend out, or you can have that right shoulder internally rotated to kind of release the traps, the upper traps. Mine have been chronically tight throughout this. It's a great place for stress to hide out. Plant that right hand down. Bring that left knee behind the right knee and sit your bottom down in the space between the feet. Betsy, you are loved. <laughs> and remember, we can take our hands over towards the right a little bit more if you wanna intensify the stretch along the left side body. Cindy, your, sh your shoulder okay? You can do a thumbs up. 
Good. All right, let's release here. Maybe a couple of rounds of cat cow. I swear we'll get moving. And then come to your downward facing dog. Whoo, Nelly. Walk your dog. Gaze at your belly button or between the knees. You can raise and lower your leg to help stretch out that opposite hamstring and the hip flexor of the raised leg. Yogi's choice. We'll be here for about five more breaths. Coming to stillness, let's do one more twisty stretch. We're going to take that left hand to the right ankle, calf, knee, anywhere you can reach. Gaze under your right underarm. Keep your belly nice and strong. My, my little dog Luna is about, oh, no, she's changed her mind. Good. Let's release this stretch. Do it on the other side. Right hand to that left ankle. Release this, and slowly let's walk our hands back to our feet. Bend the knees a whole bunch, clasping opposite elbows. Let your head go. Maybe slightly tuck the chin, especially if the neck is giving you grief. Relaxing those hammies in the low back. With your next inhale, releasing those hands from the elbows, roll all the way up. As I pull my britches up. Reach those hands up high and overhead. One last stretch, right hand to the left elbow. Squeeze the biceps to the ears as we plant those feet into the ground. Reach those hands over towards the right. Try to have your shoulders square to the front. Good job. One more. Inhale, coming up. Let's do that on the other side. Left hand to right wrist. Pull it up a little bit and then over towards the other side. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, let's forward fold. Moving through a little bit of a sun salutation. Inhale, head up. Exhale, walk your hands out here to plank. Enjoy our planks. Maybe we play with picking up the right foot, but don't let the hips move. Hold in this plank for three, two, one. Drop the right foot, lift the left foot. Don't let the hips move. Keep the shoulder square. Nice, drop that left foot. Push yourself forward slightly. Come down to your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Couple breaths. One more. Inhale, look between those hands. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Next inhale, halfway lift and fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your side, mountain pose. Let's do a sun B, sun salutation B. Inhale, Ukatasa. Na, Ukadasana. Bellies in, tailbones down. Reach those hands high for another three, two, one. Grounding the hands down, straightening the legs. Inhale, head up. Exhale, walk those feet back to plank. Let's enjoy this nice plank. Now take your feet a little wider than hips width distance. That might help to stabilize you. And we're going to put all of our weight into our left hand. Raise up our right hand. Remember, knees are always an option. Try to keep your shoulders square and hips square for three, two, one. Bring that right hand down. 
set, steady, steady yourself rather, left hand up. Keep your hips square, shoulders square, press into the thumb and the pointer, set it down, push yourself forward and take your vinyasa. Good job. Plant that left heel down, left toes are facing the front left corner of the mat. Bring the right foot forward, come into your very first warrior one. Settle in here. Feel a great stretch along your left hip flexor. Whew. Let's open up warrior two. This is a Catherine style sun B. Sink down really low. One more. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And on your next exhale, vinyasa. Now we're gonna plant that right heel down. Right toes are facing the front right corner of the mat. Bring that left foot forward, coming into warrior one on the left. Squaring yourself off to the front of the mat, sinking down really low. Enjoy that stretch right here. Let's open up warrior two. Ooh. Flip that left palm, bring it up. Right hand behind you, peaceful warrior. And then vinyasa. Let's warm up the core just a little bit more to protect the back. Coming up to your high plank. We can do this from our knees or you can stay on your toes. Suck the belly in, keep the tailbone nice and level and down. Lift the right foot up. See what it feels like to come to spider tip fingertips on the left. Maybe left hand to heart for five, four, three, two, ah, oh, one. Left hand down, right hand down. Let's do that on the other side. Left foot lifts, spider tip fingers on the right. Bring them a little closer to your body. Keep the belly nice and strong as we lift it to our heart for five, four, three, two, one. Plant the right hand, plant the left foot, come to down dog. You guys warmed up yet? All right, inhaling, look between those hands. Exhale, walk, step, jump forward. Halfway lift here for the inhale and fold. Inhaling, we're going to come all the way up. And let's start a little bit of dynamic movement. You can use weights, but you don't have to. So grab your five pounds, three pounds, 10 pounds, whatever you want to do. These look huge, but they're not. They're only 10 pounds. <laughs> I should put like big 45, like the number 45 on it. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do, it's called squat to a shoulder press. You're going to be it, with your feet hips width distance apart. And we're going to go a real squat. You have, you're supposed to come down below parallel. That hurts my hip really bad right here, so I don't go down that low. You guys be mindful of your own bodies. Make sure your feet stay about hips width distance. Tailbone stays down. Belly stays in. And what we're going to do is come down to a squat like a chair, curl up, and press. So these are called squat presses. And let's do eight of them. Keep your belly in. This is five. Keep your chest proud. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, I think I said only eight. Well, I guess we're doing 10. 
I got excited. All right, we're gonna take those weights, drop them down to the mat, come back to your chair pose because our bottoms weren't warm enough. And then we're gonna take our hands to our heart center. Left elbow to the outside of that right thigh. Marsha's not here, I need to take advantage of the chairs. Sitting low here for three, two, one. Now let's go back to a revolved crescent lunge. Left foot back, revolve crescent lunge. Now we have options. We can hold this revolved crescent lunge for about 10 counts, or we can move between revolved crescent lunge and revolved chair for five. So you want to try it? So this is core balance and twisties. Left foot forward, revolved chair. Left foot back, crescent lunge. Forward back, forward, back. Was that two or three? Lord have mercy. Back, let's do two more. One more. Come back to chair. And then unwinding here, forward fold. Give those quads a little break. Shake it out, whatever you need to do. We're gonna do that on the other side before we go back to our other set of squat presses. Fun times, all right. When you're ready, come back to your chair. Dynamic movements with some strength training. Good times, hands to your heart center. Right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Working your thumbs towards your chest. If you can, you look up towards the left shoulder. If you can't, you look down. I look down to help with my balance. We're gonna do that same thing, five or six. Let's go back to crescent lunge, revolved on the left. Now we're gonna bring it, you can stay right here for the five to 10 breaths, or you can make that dynamic. Let's bring that right foot forward, revolved chair. Send it back, crescent lunge, forward, crescent, revolved chair, crescent, Revolve chair, crescent, revolve chair, crescent, last one, revolve chair. Hold it here because we can. Come back to chair because we can. And then forward fold. Shake it out. You guys okay? Great. I got one great. That's all that matters. All right, we're going to do those squat presses again. This works your glutes, your quads, your hammies, and your shoulders, and your core. So grab your weights, soften the knees as we pull them up. Oh, I hope you guys can't hear how heavy I'm breathing. Okay, <laughs> let's go down. We're gonna do 10 more. Let's do this. Squat down, curl up, press. That's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Squat all the way down. Come to this little ball squat. Enjoy the fact that we're not coming up. And if you want to play with your crow pose, you're kind of set up perfectly for it, right? So if you don't want to play with crow pose, you can kind of finish your malasana and hang out here in this malasana. If you want to play with crow pose, you drop your hands down to the mat, lift your hips up really high, set those knees high onto the triceps, Suck your belly in a whole bunch as you look forward, lean forward. As you've mastered crow, Joe, I can't see you. Good, Cindy. Then we start to work on variations of crow. And that one variation could be side crow or a one-legged crow where you pick up one leg. Y'all want to try it for those of you that have your crows? The next variation is you pick up a foot. You're not gonna try? Let's see. That's core work and shoulder work. 
and our cores are nice and strong and our shoulders just got worked. Yoga's like golf. We're never going to meet it, beat it. <laughs> right? Good job, Cynthia. Good job, Betsy. I can't see you guys, Joe and S. Joe and S, Joe and Sandy. All right, when we guys are done, when we guys are done. All right, I'm going to meet everybody in the standing forward fold. We've had a little bitty break. We have to do our third set. Grab your weights. Belly in. Pull yourself up. Last set of these, I promise. And let's go down. Curl, press. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Bro drop them down. Meet me in your downward facing dog. You can take your vinyasa. You can go straight there. You can do extra push-ups. I mean, you can do handstands if you want. You can take Shavasana. All right, from here, we're going to bring that right foot <clears throat> up towards the sky. And then take that right knee to your right underarm. Shift it back. Right knee to your nose. Shift it back. Right knee to your left underarm. Shift it back. Right foot plants at the front of the mat. Go ahead, let's take a little bitty mini break. Left hand stays put, right hand reaches up. Oh, maybe you get a nice chiropractic adjustment. If you want to help release the upper traps, internally rotate that right shoulder, take the back part of your right hand to the back part of your body. It feels pretty good. All right, from here, we're going to take the right hand, framing the left foot. <clears throat> we're going to do this first round without weights to kind of get used to it. And then after that, we'll add some weights. So from here, come up to your crescent lunge. This is reverse fly work, which you're going to feel in between your shoulder blades and here um, the back part of your shoulders. So the first set. You can do it with your back foot on the mat. Lean forward, but don't stick your bottom out. Tailbone stays down. Lean forward with your right knee bent, and then you just take your arms from in front of you, out. Front of you, out. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. If you want to juice it up, you do this on one leg. I think we've done this before. Five. Six, seven, eight. Beautiful job. If you came up to that, off of that left foot, you come back to crescent lunge. Woo! Plant your hands in vinyasa. We'll do that on the other side instead of adding to it. So for these, when we do add weights, add light weights. These are working your rear deltoids. I forgot to mention that. And those tend to be really weak on people. But if we strengthen them, it'll help protect our shoulders from injury and chaturangas. Let's take that left foot forward. Keep that right hand down. Lift that left hand up. Enjoy the stretch here as we keep the left knee bent a whole bunch. If you want to play with that internal rotation on the left shoulder, oh, man. Wrapping that left hand around to the back side of your body. And then just let your head go away from the shoulder. It feels awesome. Mm -hmm. And then planting that left hand down, framing the left foot. Suck the belly in, come up to your crescent lunge. Feel a good stretch in this right hip flexor. Feel really grounded in that left foot. Balance is a booger every single day. Now remember, we're not just leaning forward, letting it all out, making the back do the work here. Keep the tailbone down. And if you notice, I kind of have to bend that back foot a little bit in order to do that because my belly is not quite strong enough, which is fine. Lean forward. The goal here is to make the core do the work and the booty, not this low back. 
Now remember, hands down in front, left knees bent to keep that left side working, and we raise the arms up. Lower. You don't have to have any weights to get here and work those rear delts. If you want to challenge the left side posterior chain more, you come up off that right foot. I think I'm on six, seven, and eight. Come back to your crescent lunge gently. Enjoy that stretch and then vinyasa. Make sure your weights are nearby. As we explore the same movement with weights. So, oh, I forgot core on the left. Shame, shame. Y'all didn't say anything. I noticed that. We'll skip it on this right hand side. Bring that right foot up. Just bend the right knee, stretching it out. And then let's take that right foot forward, coming into your crescent lunge. Bring your weights, should you choose to use them. I went down in some weights. I went down to five pounds. Totally okay to not do weights too. If you feel anything pain or twingy wise, drop the weights. Also, remember to pull the shoulders down and away from you, okay? So here we are. Lean forward with your belly in. Right leg is nice and strong. Hands come together in front of you. Maybe you kick off that left foot. Raise and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it out here maybe for three, two, one. Bring them together. Drop that left foot. Let's take our vinyasa. I was going to keep going, but then I thought you wouldn't be able to understand me talking. I'm breathing so heavy. Okay. Let's lift that left foot up. Bend the left knee. Stretch it out. It should feel pretty good. And now let's bring that left knee to your left underarm. Shift it back. Left knee to your nose. Shift it back. Left knee to your other underarm. Shift it back. Good thing we're not spiders. Left knee, left foot forward. Bringing your weights up with you to crescent lunge. All right, let's do this. Inhaling, belly in, lean forward. Let's kick off here and go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we are, downward facing dog. Sorry about that, guys. That's okay. All right, where was I? We just did crescent lunge. Okay, now we're gonna take that right foot up. Let's build some heat up. Take that right knee to your right underarm. Hold it here for three, two, one. Shift it back. Right knee to your nose, put your bottom down low. Hold it for three, two, one. Shift it back. Right knee to your left underarm. Hold it up here for three, two, one, shift it back. Right foot comes all the way forward. Let's plant that left heel, come into our warrior one on the right. So we want to keep our right foot, right leg nice and bent here. We're going to do a little bit of hammy work. i got to close this laptop because it's confusing me. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so here we are in warrior one. Posterior chain is everything on the back side of the body. Posterior chain is almost always weaker than the front part of your body. So let's do some exercises to strengthen it. Here we are, we've already done our balance from crescent lunge, right? So now what we're gonna do is lean forward. If you want, you can slightly straighten the right leg a little bit, let the hands go down and lift up. This is a modification of what's called a, uh, oh crackers, dead leg. You should feel this in your right butt cheek and your right hammy. You shouldn't feel anything in your back. If you feel something in your back, stop. 
I think I've done five, six, seven, eight. Open up, warrior two, that right side should be talking to you. From here, let's just peaceful warrior to make the right leg really love us. And then right elbow to right thigh. I'm gonna keep my left arm bound behind me to keep that left trap from overworking. Now we're gonna bring that right hand down and then reach it up for work. So the right hand is out in front of us holding a tray. Right knee is bent a whole bunch. Belly's in for another three, two, one. Well, go ahead, bring that right foot hand down to the mat, coming up to the toes on the left. Take your vinyasa. From here, let's do that again. Left foot comes up. Or what, am I frozen again? Okay. I don't think so. No, so no All you're right. not. Left knee to left underarm, hold it here for three, two, one. Shift it back. Left knee to your nose, hold it here for three, two, one. Shift it back. Left knee to the other underarm, holding it here for three, two, one. Shift it back. Left foot comes forward, warrior one. So a deadlift, a Romanian deadlift has bent legs, booty back, and you lift and lower like this. You can also do it with one leg. So from a warrior one position, it's kind of getting the same action happening, but you're grounded in the back foot. So left knee is bent. We're gonna come forward and raise for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open up, warrior two. Did anybody feel that in their low back? No. no. Okay, good. That's what we don't want. Sitting here in this warrior two, let's reverse it, right hand back, left arm up. Just getting some extra credit burn for that left leg and come to your extended side angle, left elbow to the left thigh. You guys know what's gonna come in this next round. Right hand, wait, right hand stays put. Now we're gonna take the left arm up and hold it as a tray for five. I was trying to remember what we did. Four, three, keep that left knee bent, two, one. Take the left hand to the mat, right hand to the mat. Roll it over, take your vinyasa. Who's ready for Shavasana? Me. Me. <laughs> That's always an option. All right, let's do this set with some weights. We're gonna take that right foot up, bend the right knee, let it stretch feel really good. And then let's take that right knee to your right shoulder, right wrist, left wrist, left shoulder. Shoot it back. Right foot comes forward, warrior one. Grabbing your weights. You can use heavier weights here for at least the dead lift part, mostly because your legs are stronger than you think. So if you want, you can keep that left foot grounded as we go down and up for eight. If you want another element of challenge, you do a single leg Romanian deadlift and you go down and up for eight like that. I'm gonna try that, all right? Let's go for eight. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hallelujah. Open up, warrior two. But I'm going to keep my hands down here on my legs because to hold these 10 pound weights would be hard. All right. Now, let's do some bicep curls coming into your extended side angle on the right. You can leave your left hand behind you. You wanna make it a little more challenging, the left hand can be up. 
I'm gonna keep my left hand behind me to make my upper traps not work. These are called concentration curls and they make us have arms like four. Let's do 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it out here, arm, forearms parallel to the mat. Hold it out here, concentrating on the bicep for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the weight. Straighten that right leg, bring your right hand in the opposite direction. Little bitty break here. Turn the right toes forward. Let's come to a five-pointed star. Because that's gonna feel way better to forward fold than go straight into the other side. Catching your breath here. Make sure your weights are sort of nearby. As we bring the toes out, heels in. These are called sumo squats. Yoga, it's basically coming into goddess pose. All right, so we can do combo moves here. Let's just do sumo squats. I wasn't gonna do combo moves, we're just gonna do sumo squats. So let the weights go anywhere they can fit. Go down and up for 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back down and hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten everything. Turn towards the front. Let's take our vinyasa. Whew. I was going to revolve this out, but I lost steam. Catch your breath. Couple more here. All right, let's lift that left leg up towards the sky, bend the left knee. Oh, let that stretch feel amazing. And now we're gonna take that left knee to your left underarm. Left wrist, right wrist, right underarm. Shift it back, left foot comes forward, warrior one, with your weights. So remember, you can do this in this warrior one action, or you can do it like a uh, warrior three. Yogi's choice, let's go for eight. Seven, six, keep that knee bent. Five, I'm talking to myself. Four, three, two, and one. Coming back to your warrior two. Let's do our concentration curls. Come to your extended side angle. And we did 15, I believe, right? Let's curl it up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it out here parallel for five, four, three, two, one. Come on, let's come to our goddess pose because our left leg is not tired enough. Straight into it because we can. These little sumo squats. 12 instead of 15, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it down here for 12, 
11, 10, 9, 8, 7, pull it, grab 6, 5, lower, 3, 2, I know I can skip 1, and down, holy moly, straighten those legs, turn the toes in, enjoy this forward fold, hallelujah. We need to do something for our triceps. So, from here, let's turn towards the front. Take that right foot, bring it forward. Shake out the knees. Take those feet about hips width distance apart. You can grab your big toes with your peace fingers if you want. You can stand on your feet. You can just cool yourself down, stretch out those hammies. They should be talking to you, kind of was the goal. Hammies in the bottom. All right. He, he, he. Okay, so grab your weights. They can be whatever weights you have. I'm gonna grab my one 10 pound weight and let's come up to standing. Okay. We're gonna to try to do tricep extensions while in tree pose. Joe did a great tree on a tree on Saturday. So let's emulate tree pose and all the muscles we had to use while we were picking up those branches, right? So the left foot can be on the calf, it can be kickstand, or it can be high on the inner thigh. That way, holy moly, gonna go overhead just like in tree. Now, you can stay here and just hold the weight, you're getting exercise. Or we can do tricep extensions, bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows together, and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whoa, one. That was an interesting save. Set that left foot down, drop the weight down low, shake it out. We get to do that on the other side. So, right foot, kickstand, calf, high on the inner thigh. Talk about multitasking here. Keep the belly in, tailbone down, tricep extensions, raise those arms up overhead, just like if we didn't have a weight. You can stay right here, or we could do 10 more. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Remove that right foot. Well, don't remove it. Set it down. Let's shake this out. And I think it's a good time to rinse this with a vinyasa. Hands up. And forward fold. So now we've done triceps, biceps, shoulders, inhale, head up. We've gotten glutes in, quads in, hamstrings. Take your feet back, take your vinyasa. We've done some core work. Now let's do a little bit more for our backs. Inhale, come all the way back to plank. Tailbone down. Slow count of five all the way down to our belly. You can do it with your elbows in or your elbows out. I'm gonna try elbows out because I'm a terrible regular push-up person. So for five, four, three, two, one, hold it, don't go, don't go, don't go, and then set it down. <sighs> All right, bring your feet together, channel your inner little mermaid. Forehead is down on the mat. Hands are down to the side. Leave your forehead down this first round and just lift your legs. So inhale and lift for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. This time bring your hands in line with your chest. Squeeze the elbows in. We're gonna lift the forehead this time or you can leave it down. That disengages the upper traps. We're gonna hold it. Inhale, come up for five. Four, keep the chin slightly tucked. Three, two, one, set it down. Windshield wiper those legs. 
All right, last set. We're gonna pretend it's summertime and we're swimming off the side of Joe's boat, staring <laughs> away all his fish. So let's make this be more like a frog swim for the upper body. On your inhale, you're gonna lift your chest and your arms and your legs. Then you're gonna bring your arms back and forward. We're gonna do that for, let's do 12. You ready? Inhale, lift everything up. Elbows back, one, forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, windshield wipe with those legs. Hallelujah. Holy mackerel. Okay. We're going to do two floor bows, Dhanurasana. So if you want to do one leg at a time, you bring the left arm out in front. Right hand grabs the outside of your right foot and you kick in with just one hand. We're gonna hold it for five of your breaths. If you wanna do both at the same time and do two full um, floor bows, you'll lift and hold for five. Here I am. Five. Feel the stretch across your chest. Even here in that back bend, try to keep your tailbone down. When you're done, you bring it back to the mat. When she'll wipe her those legs, catch your breath, and then you go right back. Five. Let it go. Like Elsa says, sway your feet side to side. And then let's take our arms out wide, like a Y, not like a T. We're gonna stretch out the pec muscles. And I'm gonna make sure you guys can see me. So we're not out wide all the way like a T. We're a little bit more like on the corners of the mat. Hopefully you guys can see my arms. I'm gonna bend my left elbow, press my left hand closer to my chest, Lift my body up over towards the right. Left foot comes to the outside of that right leg. Right ear comes to the mat. Maybe if I came to the other side, you guys could see me better. Can y'all see that a little better? Hopefully. So play with your right arm. The um, higher it is to a Y is more peg minor stretch. Out further, like to a T, is more of a pec major stretch. So there's multiple muscles around those pectoral, in the pecs, basically in your chest. And the higher up is a little bit more pec minor, which I feel like is a little tighter on women. Pec majors are, I feel like, a little bit tighter on men. That's my own personal, <clears throat> what's the word, observations. Because Judson can hang out like this and it's like, whatever, but you put him in the T and he's like, oh, dear God. Let's do that on the other side. Rolling out gingerly. Play with where you need your arm to get the best stretch for you. You might have to move body parts around too. All right, let's come back to our bellies. Ooh, wee moly. Roll out your shoulders, whatever you need to do to kind of be okay with this. Push yourself up and then maybe do a cat cow to get your back set. And then I was thinking of doing pigeon, but I feel like we do pigeon in every class. 
Would you guys rather stretch the outside of your hips or the hammy? Yogi's choice, if you're dying for a pigeon, bring that right knee to the right elbow, right under whatever this party is, right elbow, and stretch it out here. If you would rather do a hamstring stretch, you can do your Hanumanasana prep with bending and straightening that right leg. So play with whatever you're feeling like you need a little bit more of today. We did a whole bunch in the glutes and the hammy, so both pigeon and this hamstring stretch will be good for you. Oh man, I'm running out of time. Where does it go? Do five more breaths wherever you are. Come on out of this. Move through down dog, hip raises, hip circles, cat cows. Whatever you need to do to make your hips forgive you for this. Mine can get lippy sometimes. And then do whatever you did on the other side to this left side. So if you did pigeon, go for pigeon. If you did Hanumanasana prep, go for that. You can do full splits if you want Hanumanasana. Couple more breaths here. When you're ready, you'll release this. Do your barrel rolls, do your down dog, leg raises, whatever you need to do. And then I'll meet everybody on their back. I didn't give you guys much time to be upside down. So if you want to do like a shoulder stand or a waterfall pose for five to 10 breaths, that might help us to not be so sore tomorrow, flush out the lactic acid. If you're just done, go straight to your Shavasana. If you've got your legs up in the air and it feels fine, you can stay there. Or you can come to your final resting pose, your Shavasana corpse pose. This is where that fight or flight and rest and digest come back together.
slowly start to wiggle those fingers and toes. Rolling back over to your most supportive side. And when you're ready, coming up to your comfy, cozy, seated position. Thanks, you guys, for joining.